Hey everybody, this is Justin with Siad Scents, and today I've got some fall and winter men's fragrances, and each of these are powerful and they are unique. And what I mean, what I mean by unique is that I don't have anything else that smell like these, and I really haven't smelled anything else, period, that smells like them. Uh, so these are amazing for this time of year whenever the weather's starting to cool down all the way into winter and each of them has got this addictive unique smell that's going to make you stand out from everybody else the first one i'm going to mention this has become maybe my favorite fragrance definitely in my top three or four and that is this hideous looking bottle philip pline no limits so philip pline no limits this is a leather, chocolatey, spicy scent. And so this one is uh, very unique in that it doesn't smell like ombre leather. It doesn't smell like uh, Tuscan leather. It's a sort of a softer leather mixed with a chocolate that you get immediately whenever you spray it on. The first few times I sprayed it, uh, I wasn't quite sure what to make of it. It was just so different than anything else that I had but as I've had it and probably worn it a dozen times or so now, I just can't get enough of it. And this, uh, this leather and chocolate lasts for like 12 hours. I mean, I can spray it on in the evening and I'm still smelling it on my skin the next day. You spray it on clothes, it's going to be on you for days. But this Philip Pline chocolatey, leathery, spicy fragrance, it's absolutely incredible. So check it out. You can get it, the 1.7 ounce for around $40, something like that. I think you can get the uh, 100 ml, you know, 3.4 for 50 to 60 at the filming of this video. Uh, the next one that we'll go with is also unique because I don't have anything else that smells like it. I haven't smelled anything like it, but there are a lot of people that have this, although in its line, it is the least popular, and that is Eros Flame. Of course, the Eros line is, it has blown up, everybody has Eros, but Flame uh, is the least selling out of the Eros line, but this thing is incredible. Probably the bottom half, if you can say it like that, is the original Eros DNA. I've got the EDT, I've got the uh, Parfum, uh, and the EDT and the Parfum are pretty similar, and you get some of that DNA in Eros Flame. Uh, but there is a whole nother half of the fragrance where you've got this spicy herbal uh, citrus that sits on top of the, of the Eros base. So you've got an orange in the opening, you've got an herbal feel, which is like a rosemary, uh, and you've got some other spices as well. It is just a very unique fragrance, and it lasts a very long time. It's probably like a 10-hour fragrance, 8 to 10. I've heard people say they get 12, hour, uh, 12 hours out of it. But if you like Eros and you want something a little different, and if you don't mind an herbal scent, uh, rosemary, there's some other herbs. There's also uh, some spices. I think there's some cinnamon in here, uh, but it is a beautiful fragrance that is powerful. So check out again Versace Eros Flame. All right, the next one, let's go with another one that has gotten some hype and that a lot of people in the fragrance community have, although in the world at large, this is definitely unique. This is Paco Rabanne Ultra Red. Ultra Red. This is in the same line as Ultraviolet, this one is a much better, much more unique uh, flanker. And this is an orange and vanilla spicy fragrance. Uh, some people have said that it reminds them of like a creamsicle. I don't necessarily get that, uh, but you do get something almost similar to one million in the base. But on top of that, you've got this beautiful orange and praline. That's something very unique about this praline. If you've ever been to like an open air market where they're giving samples of a warm praline, that kind of uh, caramely uh, sort of nutty dessert. Well, this right here is orange and praline mixed with something like one million in the base. 
And so this is a beautiful scent. You've got some undertones of maybe like some leather or wood, something kind of dry like that. But man, it's really good and it's fairly linear. It doesn't develop a lot on my skin, but you get that orange praline sweet uh, sillage for like eight hours and you'll just get whiffs of it all day. So this is a beautiful and unique scent. And it, even though it used to be like a $200 fragrance a couple years ago, at the filming of this video, you can get it all over the place for anywhere from like $35 to $50, which is insane for this. It's a very unique kind of niche leaning uh, fragrance. And then finally, we're going to go with another one that is unique because uh, it, it does, there's not a lot that smells like this. But there are a lot of people, especially in the fragrance community, that love this. And this is Azaro Wanted by Night. All of the wanted fragrances are powerful in some way. They're long-lasting. Uh, they've got decent projection. And this one is sort of a, to me, it's like a honey, uh, cinnamon, uh, sweet, tobacco-based fragrance. And it lasts for a long time, and that, that I don't think I've heard anybody else describe it as honey, but to me, it's this golden, honeyed, spicy fragrance with some cinnamon and other spices that you get in the opening, and you also have some citrus in the opening. Maybe it's like uh, some orange or lemon or maybe both, and the citrus is gone in maybe a half hour or so, but that spicy, golden, honeyed sweetness lasts for a long time, probably eight hours, 10 hours, something like that. So again, Wanted by Night, I have Wanted. I've got, uh, of course, Wanted by Night. I've got the Most Wanted Parfum on the way, which is excellent. I've smelled the Most Wanted EDP. So far, even though I haven't smelled the Parfum yet, uh, this is my favorite flanker in the Wanted line so far. I'm hoping the Parfum is going to dethrone it. I'll know in a couple days. Uh, so there were uh, four fragrances. I've got one more for you, but it fell down here. My channel is new, and uh, I'm not that professional. I just love fragrances, so forgive me. But uh, this is another one that is awesome, that is unique, that not a lot of people smell like, because the only other thing out there that smells like this is like a $300 fragrance. And that is Moustache EDP. There's an EDT as well that's significantly cheaper, but the EDP is maybe not a clone, but it's very similar to Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo. To me, Tuxedo is a little bit sweeter. It's more complex. I can sort of pick out some of the spicy notes a little bit uh, more distinctly. This one, uh, Moustache EDP, is a tobacco scent, so it's a you know tobacco dominant fragrant, and it's a kind of a dry tobacco uh, and slightly metallic even to me, metallic and herbal, but also with some sweet spices that just continue throughout the life of this fragrance. It's it's very unique. It's very addictive. Um, it's even though something like Spice Bomb Extreme is also a spicy. Um, tobacco, vanilla fragrance. This is very different from that. It is not as sweet as Spice Bomb Extreme. It's not as spicy as Spice Bomb Extreme, but it is uh, tobacco, vanilla, and some herbs and spices. And again, it, there's something distinctly herbal about this, not just spicy. And that herbal, slightly metallic, dry tobacco leaf just sets it apart from anything else that I've smelled. Uh, again, even slightly different than Tuxedo, uh, which is a little sweeter and perhaps a little spicier. Some of those spice notes stick out a little more, whereas this one, you've just got this long-lasting, easily eight-hour fragrance that is super unique, super addictive. You're going to come back to it again and again. And at the filming of this video, you can get the 2.5-ounce bottle of it for like $40, which is a steal. And so there were five fragrances that are unique, that are powerful, that I think you're absolutely going to love for this fall and winter time frame. Uh, so again, my name is Justin. This has been Siage Sense. Please subscribe, comment below. Have you tried any of these? 
Are there others that belong on this list of just something unique that is designer and in a reasonable price range that you would recommend? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.